let's talk about this online thing. And I love asking people about this because I tend to talk to people who have, who are, and again, there's a, there's a selfish reason for this. You may, you know me, this is a podcast. When people ask me to come on that podcast, I've usually got a bigger following them, following than them. And it's the same with you. Like you've got a big following. I love to ask people this question. Like, are you still getting those fucking snidey comments and those fucking, that, that criticism? Is it still coming your way? Oh, mate, of, of course it does. It, people fucking make meme pages over, pages over me. But I think, fuck me, people go out of their way and waste their time to try and bring me down. And like, the, I was just doing a post about this this earlier today. Like, time is my most valuable thing. No amount of money can buy me. My time is literally the thing that I wish I could have more of. Yes. And giving someone your time yeah. is probably your most expensive currency. And people spend their most expensive currency trying to bring me down, which is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas, you know, for me, when I give out my time, it's again, only to the most valuable people or to people that I have care about and respect, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, that's how I go through life. And as sad as it sounds, sometimes like not even to friends or people that are close to me, like ask me to go and do something. I'm like, well, is that going to fulfill me? Like, you know, is that something that I really want to do or am I just doing it because I have to? And sometimes you do have to make those, you know, those hard decisions when it's, when you're talking about something that's more valuable than money. Yeah. Yeah. And, and do you, do you never get, you, there must be some times where you fucking where it, get, it gets to you a little bit. There must be. Uh, what the the negative comments? The negative comments and the fucking shitty, all that shitty stuff. Or are you kind of like well past that now? I'm, I'm I'm I think I'm getting past it now. Like I have my my like my ability to deal with negativity is far better than it ever used to be whereas sometimes you know when things happen to you and it fucks yeah. you off and you can stew on it for a whole day and let it build up inside you and get angry about it or you can fucking process it really quickly yeah. and get on with your day and I think like again it comes back to that I'm gonna waste a, a day being frustrated and angry about something that I could solve right now or I could just actually deal with and move on and i think that that comes down to actually being able to like understand your own emotions and i think yeah. as men again i think women are much better at processing their emotions than men i think i got to a point in my life where i learned how to do that and understand yeah. when i'm feeling sad when i'm feeling happy and the things that cause that so that yeah. it makes it 10 times easier for you then to actually get back to where you want to be yeah Yes. Was so, your, very, mate, was that your notification going off on mine? Um, I think I, it, I think it's my laptop, maybe. I heard a notification coming off. I, I hope that's not mine. If it's Sonny's, it's all right. But so <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd turn all my notifications off. So, mate, let, let's go back to that emotions thing. What does Sonny Webster do when he can't be fucking bothered? When he's a little bit because the, 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 I, I think we all go through all the all these emotions are transient. You're not happy all the time. You're not motivated all the time. What are you yeah. doing to shift out of those patterns apart from eat? I know, yeah, you, love I think, big, I know you love a big Friday blowout. <laughs> I think everyone needs to yeah remember that that even the the people that you see on social media that potentially live this dream life or are constantly happy and they haven't got a worry in the world they yeah. do yeah. and the time you'll know when i'm not 100 percent happy is because you won't see me so much because at the end of the day when i'm not feeling 100 percent, you won't like i won't project myself as as much so it's just yeah. that they're the times when i'm not there as much and that's yeah. purely on the it's not it's more from a selfish point of view than than anything else that yeah. I don't really feel the need to project when I'm feeling down or sad to to others that uh, that I don't know that are strangers on social media, for example, because when I'm feeling down or I'm upset, I'll call up someone that's close to me and, you know, deal with speak to them and kind of air my my feelings and i think one of the best things to do is when you're feeling down and lack of mo motivation is first of all 
like look back behind you and see how far you fucking come because I think sometimes that's one of the best things for me when I feel frustrated, angry that things aren't going well or you know progress isn't going as fast as it should. Mm -hmm. Sometimes actually sitting back and going fuck it's only been it's been less than a year or you look how far i've come i've done you know what i mean you start fo putting your focus back into the things that you are doing really well rather than the things that are currently yeah, frustrating mate, I, love I love it i, think, I love that because because yeah. again we're often so future based and going after the next thing that you're right we often compare and i, I love this saying we compare actual progress to like ideal progress 